Okay. Welcome to the second part of the How to Make Run video. We're going to show you how to distill your mix from the previous video, make it using a, whatever this is called, pressure cooker and a bucket and some pipe, which is pretty easy. Just hopefully you won't go blind, so don't try this at home. What we have here is a pressure cooker, which is going to have our mix in, inside here. And this is a pressure coupling, which goes from an 8mm pipe to a 10mm pipe. And then the pipe goes up, round, around this bucket, which will be filled with ice, and will come out of this hole and be collected later in there. This is our run from the previous video, which we made up. Okay, so that's in there now. We can put the pressure sealer on. Okay. So now we're going to tighten up the top of the pressure cooker, maintain the seal. Point out at this point the pressure coupling joint which I was showing you earlier is attached to the lid of the pressure cooker where the whistle would go normally. I drilled an 8mm hole and fitted a piece of piping into that, which will be explained in the notes once. Ice to condense it. And the first time I did this I didn't I thought I'll take the ice out of the bag which seemed like a smart idea, but unless you have a perfect, perfect seal at this point, you'll get a load of water dribbling out of it. Makes a horrible mess of wherever you are making your rum. This is a temperature gauge, so we can work out what temperature we're boiling off the methanol at. Because, <laughs> methanol's fun. Methanol makes you go blind, so you don't want to drink it ideally. Methanol boils off at 664 centigrade. Whereas ethanol, which is the bit we want, boils at 79 degrees. So what we're planning to do is measure this and we're going to boil it at 64.7, enough to get as much methanol off of as we want. And then we will raise it to 79 degrees and get the ethanol off and collect that. We'll still throw away the first load that we collect just to make sure there's no methanol left in it. We've been gradually increasing the temperature so that we can evaporate the methanol. As you can hear, it's boiling away now quite happily. Um, it's getting up to about 60 or so, so eventually we should be getting some droplets of first lots of methanol coming through. So we've increased the temperature now to get the ethanol out. <laughs> I just didn't hear it was quite a large amount, but this is what we're going to connect our row in. And it is now at 79 degrees to get the ethanol out. After a while, uh, you'll notice that the liquid coming through is no longer the stuff you want. It's probably just going to be random crap from the bottom of your mix. So, turn everything off. You collect this up. Put the lid on, obviously, so it doesn't evaporate. And uh, back it up, ready for the next time you use it. And that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.